Welcome to the world of Oracle Fusion Reporting. Today, we will dive into the powerful reporting tools available in Oracle Fusion, breaking them down in a simple and easy to understand way. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of when to use what reporting tool, including OTBI, Oracle Analytics Publisher, the Financial Reporting Center tools, and the latest innovation, Fusion Data Intelligence. But that's not all. We are also going to dive into the architecture of each reporting tool. And together, we are going to create an OTBI report and analytics publisher report from the scratch. You are going to get Oracle Fusion reporting insights as well as hands-on experience all within 10 minutes. I'm Siva Koya, an Oracle Ace and Certified Professional. If you are ready, Let's go. Let's start with OTBI, which stands for Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence. It's a powerful tool designed to analyze real-time transactional data. With a hands-on demo in a minute, you will see how OTBI stands out by organizing data into subject areas making it incredibly user-friendly. You can think of OTBI as your go-to tool for creating simple real-time reports to support decision-making. Here is the architecture diagram for the OTBI reporting tool. Let's take an example. When a user creates a transaction, maybe a supplier, the data gets stored in Fusion Applications Transactional Database. On top of this relational database, business intelligence views are built for each subject area, forming what's called the semantic model. This semantic model allows us to create OTBI reports simply by dragging and dropping data columns from the relevant subject areas based on our needs. Let me show you how easy it is to create an OTBI report. To do this, we need to navigate to Reports and Analytics module. There are two ways to access it. The first way is from the home page, navigate to the Tools tab, then click on Reports and Analytics style. The second way is click on the navigator, go to Tools, and then click on Reports and Analytics link. Then I will select Browse Catalog. Then I will navigate to OTBI homepage. On our page header, you can see Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence. Now, in order to create a new OTBI report, under Create, I can select Analysis. I'll go ahead and select Analysis. For this demo, I want to display supplier information. So I will select Supplier Subject Area. As soon as I select Supplier Subject Area, System displays different subject areas associated with supplier. I will select specific subject area, supplier, supplier real time. Within the supplier subject area, you will find multiple subcategories to explore. Now I'll quickly drill into the subcategories within suppliers to select data elements for our report. Here I have the supplier name. I will drag and drop my supplier name. I want to drag supplier number and supplier status. I have selected my columns. If I navigate to results tab, you can see all the supplier information displayed here. Now I want to save this report. To save this report, I just need to click on the save button. I can save this report in my personal folder to make it private. Now I will give a name to my report. I'll click OK. This is it guys. This is how easy it is to create OTBI report. To access my report anytime, I will click on Home button. Here is the report that we just created. I can print this report in PDF or export in different formats. Next, we have Oracle Analytics Publisher, previously known as BI Publisher. This tool is perfect for creating highly formatted professional reports. Do you need to create custom invoice reports? tax forms or checks, Analytics Publisher has you covered. Another area where Oracle Analytics Publisher 
shines his high volume data reporting, making it ideal for reports such as customer invoice register, detailed general transaction report, etc. Now let's look at the Oracle Analytics Publisher architecture. Similar to OTBI, we can create Oracle Analytics Publisher reports using subject areas. However, it offers more flexibility by allowing custom models to fetch data directly from Oracle Transactional Database using data models. Data model can be as simple as a query. In other words, you are not limited to predefined subject areas when you are creating Oracle Analytics Publisher reports. It's time to get our hands dirty. Let's go ahead and create Oracle Analytics Publisher report. To create an Oracle Analytics Publisher report, I navigated to OTBI homepage. This time under Create, I will select Report. Here we have multiple options to select the data source. If you want to use an existing data model or create a custom query to retrieve data directly from Oracle Fusion Transactional Database, then we need to select Data Model as our data source. For this demo, let's keep it simple and leverage existing subject areas. Just like how we selected supplier as our subject area in our previous demo, let's use the same subject area. I'll click next. I'll keep the default options. I want the layout to be table. I'll click next. Now I will drop specific fields from the supplier subject areas that I want to include in my report. Again, under supplier profile, I will select the supplier name. Supplier number, status. Click next. I can view the report. I will click finish. I will go ahead and save my report. I will click OK. Here is the output that's generated. This is how easy it is to create a BI publisher report. Now let's talk about Financial Reporting Center. Your go to tool for financial insights in Oracle Fusion. When you create journals, data gets stored in Oracle Fusion Transactional Database. When journals are posted, the data is instantly integrated into the Oracle SBase General Ledger Balances Cube in real time. The main purpose of the Oracle SBase Balances Cube is to consolidate GL balances from multiple sources. Three key tools connect to this cube for real time reporting and analysis. Financial Reporting Web Studio is mainly used for creating financial statements such as income statement and balance sheet. I have created a separate episode with a simple step by step guide on how to do it. I will drop the link in the description below so you can watch it. The second tool provided in the Financial Reporting Center is Account Groups and Sunburst, which enables us to create visualizations of GL balances. And the last tool, Smart View, is for interactive data analysis using our familiar Excel tool. Finally, we have Fusion Data Intelligence, Oracle's next generation analytics platform. Here is what makes it unique. It can combine data from multiple sources, both inside and outside of Oracle Fusion, to give you a 360 degree view of your business. It leverages AI and machine learning to provide predictive and prescriptive insights. Fusion Data Intelligence is built on Oracle's cutting-edge technologies, which are Autonomous Data Warehouse and Oracle Analytics Cloud. One major advantage of FDI is, like OTBI, it allows you to create reports using a simple drag-and-drop interface based on semantic model that we saw before. To recap, use OTBI for real-time transactional reporting. Choose Analytics Publisher for pixel-perfect high-volume reports. Explore Financial Reporting Center for financial statements and GL balance analysis or to create advanced visualizations. Finally, you can leverage Fusion Data Intelligence for AI-powered analytics and cross-functional insights. This was just a quick overview of Oracle Fusion reporting tools. There is so much more to explore. I will be diving deeper into each reporting tool in my upcoming videos. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more interesting content. 
see you in the next one